Welcome into another edition of Southern Miss Sports Today with head coach Joy Lee McNellis as the, the Lady old Eagles. Stress ball. The old stress ball. The Lady Eagles are on their way to the final stretch of the season. Final week this week featuring Louisiana Tech, a championship type feel to this ball game that we'll talk about later in the show and then into the conference tournament. But Joy, this was a Lady Eagle team coming home that had to get a couple of revenge wins against Rice, against North Texas. We start this segment with the Rice Owls. We felt like this was a Rice team that did some things better than anybody in the league and how they ran their offense. You go out and you win by 19. Kerry Jewett Giles goes for a career high 23 points. And I felt like the Lady Eagles played one of their most complete games. You know, Josh, in that game, even though we won by 19, it never felt like it was 19 points. Not at all. There was no, I mean, you just felt like the game could get out of hand at any time going Rice's way. And, you know, we spoke to our team about it the next day and discuss that with them. And, you know, they said, Coach, you're right. It felt like it was a very, very close game. The Rice Isles are very, very good. You know, we did a great job on Maya Hawkins, which she was a player that we expected at any time could explode. But it was their number 22 that really shot the three ball extremely well for them that really made a difference. Then once they got the ball, Josh, the Lady Eagles really had to focus and really buckle down and guard because if if we would allow them to get loose at any time, they're truly like any other team in the country. You build momentum, things can start rolling. And because of the way that Coach Tina Langley does such a tremendous job in coaching them and preparing them, the Rice Owls had a chance at any time to come alive. But thank goodness, Kerry Jewett Giles led the Lady Eagles with a great combo, LaShira Cotton, getting her double digits again and rebounding the basketball. Brittany, Dinkin, Brittany Dinkins, again, a mainstay for us. So again, a lot of Lady Eagles contributed, uh, and it was totally a complete game for the Lady Eagles to be able to get that win over the Rice Owls. Where do you feel like that Southern Miss made the biggest leap? Was it in keeping uh, Rice off the offensive glass? Was it in guarding the three ball? What did you think was the biggest jump? You know, I think obviously in the first half, we did not do a very good job of guarding the, the three ball. We gave it up. Second half, we did a much better job of defending that three ball you know, not allowing number 22 to be able to get loose. Uh, and we were very, we were much more cognizant of her and knowing where she was. I, as we call it, ID in her early, whether it be in transition, whether it be in our matchup zone, whether it be in our man defense. But again, Josh, we went into that game plan with a different strategy than we've ever had um, against any opponent. And it was very effective for us. We switched everything. Uh, again, they're a team that runs a lot of motion. You have to be aware of their slips. But again, I thought the Lady Eagles really bought into the game plan that our staff put in place to be able to get that victory. And again, that's what it's all about. You know, is I have a great working staff that really studies great strategizers and our team bought in to that game plan, which is very different than any other game plan. And they executed it to perfection. And again, players make plays, Josh. Players win ball games. It was a 79-60 win for Southern Miss of the Rice Owls, setting up even a bigger game against the North Texas Mean Green. We'll take a break. When we come back, we'll talk about the North Texas Mean Green, as it was certainly an opportunity for Southern Miss to keep pace with Louisiana Tech in a Conference USA race that has really tightened over the final month. We'll be back in just a moment. You're watching Southern Miss Sports Today. As Southern Miss Sports Today continues with head coach Joy Lee McNellis, the Lady Eagles had the big win over the Rice Owls and taking on the North Texas Mean Green. And 
The concern with North Texas was their athleticism. Ooh. And this was a team that comes in. Uh, we saw how they shot the three ball against us at the Super Pit. They went 10 of 19 from beyond the arc. And the Light Eagles, again, had to take some pride at home and really defend. And it was very ugly for the majority of that ball game. But the Light Eagles were able to, in a game that was really, as we talked about, a fatigue game, the Light Eagles found a way to grind it out. You know, Josh, I will tell you, you know, Coach Daly Mitchell's done a tremendous job there. And when we went there, they really kicked our behind. They did. I mean, they shot the cover off the ball. We did not guard. And we still had a chance to be in the ball game. But if you don't guard, you don't have a chance to win. And to allow somebody to go 10 of 19 from three-point range, you're not guarding at all. And, you know, we did not do that. We challenged our team, Josh, to really step up and defend. Defend hard. Be the aggressor. Play in an attack mentality. And if we do that and defend the three ball, keep them in front of us, board and let's go to the other end, we'll have an opportunity. Now that, that game in the first half, it was ugly. It was truly an ugly basketball game. You know, we had 13 turnovers. We, we made some mental errors. I think a lot was fatigue errors. North Texas had a tough game at Louisiana Tech. I think their errors were fatigue errors. And just mentally, both teams were out of whack in that first half. We were very fortunate to be able to go in with the lead at the half. Second half, I thought the Lady Eagles really regrouped. We only had four turnovers in that second half. We shot the cover off the ball in the third quarter. Our defense continued to generate offense. Every Lady Eagle had an opportunity to score. And again, Brittany Dinkins shined again, she and Kerry Jewett Giles, to lead the Lady Eagles to that victory over North Texas. But I'm gonna tell you, North Texas is good. Terrell Bradley is very, very good. She is a player, again, a transfer. They have several transfers on their team from Power 5 schools. And for us to be able to hold her to as minimal as we did was huge for this team defensively. You know, they have a three ball shooter in number 14 that loves the left corner. Again, she shot the cover off the basketball against us at their place. Again, the Lady Eagles, it was our defense, Josh. Not what we had in the super pit, but it was our defense played in an attack mentality and putting the clamps on the North Texas Mean Green to get the win. You referenced Brittany Dinkins again. She hit three threes in a row in that third quarter. Right. Uh, we are seeing her and her confidence when she gets going and she hits a couple. Uh, the confidence right now is at such a peak where she can reel off 10, 15 points in a row. You know, she has played her. She's had a very good Conference USA season. She really has. And, you know, Obviously, we've all known what Beat Inc's capable of doing, and it's just been fun to watch her in her growth um, in the game and growth as a young lady. And yes, when she hits one, she's feeling good, and there's a, a really good chance that she's going to hit a couple more. And she truly has spurred this team many, many times. Um, I think over the last few games, there's no doubt it's been she and Kiri Jewett Giles. I mean, Kiri had five steals, and that was on the ball steals against North Texas. And I think the two of them have truly provided a great guard, backcourt, one-two punch in, in segments of the game that has allowed us to surge. And then you've got Shantae Hills. You know, then you've got Megan Brown. You've got LaShara Cotton that's averaging double figures in conference play. Uh, and you've got the steady eighty play of Jayla King inside. So again, there's a lot of pieces that embraces them. But I will tell you, when beat ink gets rolling, it's fun to watch her. This team's now, as we wrap this segment, 20 and nine, 12 and five in Conference USA. You know, you hope that this team would gel. There were a lot of question marks before the season, a lot of question marks, and you were hoping that, well, if this goes right, if this goes right, if this goes right, they've got a chance. A lot of those things have gone right. This has been one of the feel-good stories in Conference USA this year. You know, Josh, coming in and you have no size, and we have all new coaches other than Pauline and I, you know, we have all new support staff. Um, you, don't, you don't know. I mean, there's a lot of unknown, a lot of unknown. But I will tell you this, um, you know, God truly blessed me with great people. And that I truly believe that you're only as good as the person that's next to you. And that means from a coaching staff, from a support staff to a team. And, you know, I was truly blessed. I, I really was, and I, or I am. And I think our, co our players, with the new players that were coming in, you know, Shante Hales and Respect Lee Park came in as freshmen. And, you know, they were ready to play. They were ready to make a difference. And so again, we have to change everything offensively that we're doing. Uh, and we get things rolling in the right direction. And now it just takes, it goes to the big word trust. 
you know, to trust the process. Let's get through the process. You know, there's things we're asking players to do things they've not done before. And, you know, it took us a little time to be able to get through that. But thank goodness it happened in conference play and everything uh, came together. And it's been fun watching this group not only, you know, grow, but watch them have fun through the growth process. Well, it certainly set up a big game coming up against Louisiana Tech this Friday at Reed Green Coliseum. We'll take a break. When we come back, we'll talk about that game against the Lady Texers, and you're going to want to be here for the season finale on Senior Night. You're watching Southern Miss Sports Today. Hey, basketball fans. The Conference USA Men's and Women's Basketball Championship is headed back to Birmingham in 2017. Bartow and Legacy Arenas will host games from March 8th through March 11th. So mark your calendars now and be sure to check out conferenceusa.com for all the information like ticket prices, championship brackets, and game times. This will be college basketball at its best, so plan now to join us in Birmingham. It's another at the 20, 15, gets a block, cuts back in, touchdown! His body got a foot down for a Golden Eagle touchdown. Mike goes up. Charta slams Trent Taylor, but he's going to be brought down for a loss. As we continue with Southern Miss Sports today with head coach Joy Lee McNellis, Lady Eagles getting ready to take on Louisiana Tech. It's going to be senior day all the, all the way, way around. around. All the way go. around. We're not there yet, Josh, but mm. I, I'm getting close. <laughs> all right, so senior day all the way around. What does that mean? We know we're going to honor our seniors, but it's also a chance for some of our fans to get in a little more affordably. That is exactly right, Josh. You know, the wise of our community. 65 and older. We have wisdom on the floor honoring our seniors and we need wisdom in the stands. They get to flash their ID once again, <laughs> Josh, to be able to show their age and get in for the Lady Eagle game at six o'clock on Friday night. It is truly a way to honor all seniors and we need you at Reed Green on Friday night at six o'clock. You know, again, before we talk about Louisiana Tech, I, this is going to be a neat moment. It's a Friday night. They're going to dress up, go out, show their ID. They're going to be reliving some memories. You're going to get a lot of stories about that. You, you know, it is going to be a fun night. And the cool thing is, is invite your friends, invite your neighbors. You know, uh, let's get as many people as we can to this game. And I'm going to tell you, there's going to be some people that walk away from here on Friday night and say, wow, we should have been here all year. And we need, we, we need 2,000 plus at our game on Saturday. We've got to have it on, to, Friday. on, on Friday. Thank you, Josh. <laughs> See, we were uh, trying to make sure. Yeah, we, that's we get... right. You know, we've got to have 2,000 plus on Friday night, and we need them to help and honor the four seniors in a Lady Eagle uniform. We must have a large crowd to support, not only the seniors of our community, but the seniors within the Lady Eagle program. And then Brooke Store and uh, also Laura Sharp, they bring in this team. They have been here. They've heard our fans work the other coaches over. They get to experience that on the other side, telling them to sit down and all the fun that goes with that. It's going to be a little bit of a homecoming for them. They bring in a very good basketball team. This is going to be one of those classic Southern Miss, Louisiana Tech, postseason field type ball games. It's championship week. It is. And, you know, the Stores, Brooke does a tremendous job, she and Scott. and. You know, they are truly, you know, Brooks had the opportunity to go back to La Tech just like me here. And it's a total different feel when you're a head coach at your alma mater. The passion, the blood, I mean, everything runs so deep within the program. And she has done a tremendous job there. And Alora, we know what she does. She worked very hard, has done a tremendous job for the stores and will continue to do so. And I can say this, Josh, that it is truly a championship week for both of us. You know, both teams need a win on Friday to be able to earn a buy in the Conference USA tournament. So we've told our team it's championship week and you've got to prepare mentally and physically in preparation for the big game. So we need everyone in the Hattiesburg community to come out and let's make it 2K Friday at 6 o'clock as we face Louisiana Tech. Final question here, Coach. When you talk about physically uh, preparing, you get the extra day off this week, 
And then from the mental standpoint, what's the biggest mental hurdle this team is still has to overcome to really make a push over the next week and a half to win You know, I think number one, Josh, is that um, I think mentally just to be tough. When things do not go our way, that we must press on and we must push through the tough times. We cannot allow when things do not go our way to crumble a little bit. We, we can't allow that. And we've watched that team, our team, make tremendous strides in that area. You know, when we have a few turnovers in a row or you, you see the frustration, you see the disappointment. And I think a lot of that is because of the expectation of where we are. You know, it's not that they want to have those turnovers and it frustrates them. So we've got to grow very quickly in that area and make a leap in that area for us to be able to be successful. But I'm going to tell you, Friday night's a huge game, and La Tech is very well coached. They're a heck of a basketball team. Alexis Malone and Jasmine LeBlanc inside are beasts. They are truly beasts. We, we have no shot at guarding them in the paint one-on-one. -on -one. We can't. I mean, they're very, very good. And then you've got Kira Anthony and you've got Vasquez that can score the ball outside and off the bounce. And then they have another uh, a solid supporting cast, Josh. They're good. They're really, really good. You know, they play that 2-3 zone. They're going to pack it in. We've got to hit some shots from outside. And, and that's what the Lady Eagles have really focused on this week as we will be preparing for Louisiana Tech. A great matchup Friday, 6 o'clock. All right, so it'll be good. It'll be a lot of fun at Southern Miss and Louisiana Tech, and we want you out there on Senior Day. Uh, for Craig Adams, I'm Josh West. For Coach McNellis, until next time, you've been watching Southern Miss Sports Today.